Hi everyone, Dylan with the HD Perspective here. It's got another Tech Extra flyer from Snap-on, so I thought I'd go through it, give you my thoughts. Here we go. First page, we've got a bunch of power tools. Can't say that I really recommend anything on this page. It's kind of disappointing. I mean, we got a cordless angle grinder, cutoff tool, a cordless drill, battery, Sawzall, glue gun, a couple other odds and ends, drill bits. Even the battery is expensive, 172 bucks. I mean, I don't know. I'd just go with a DeWalt or something equivalent. There is a paintless dent removal system. It looks interesting. I'm not an auto body guy, so I don't have a lot of experience with it. 115 bucks. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's not a bad deal. This page, we got quite a few more power tools some drills, impact drivers, looks like impact wrenches, uh, sawzall or reciprocating saw, polish prep tool, temp gun. Even the temp gun, I mean, you can get those on sale fairly inexpensive. I don't think there's any need to spend $187 for something that you don't use too often. It looks like those trouble lights would be nice if you're working under hood of something. Here we got a uh, one horsepower, four and a half inch angle grinder. Uh, definitely nice to have. They, they're they smooth, they run good. Less vibration than an electric one. Probably not as much power. Uh, we've got these extended reach die grinders. Those are definitely nice to have. A little bit pricey, but I guess you get what you pay for. They are nice. I uh, got some orbital sanders, different auto body tools. I mean, once again, I'm not an auto body guy. You have to ask somebody else. Half horsepower die grinder and angle die grinder. Those definitely look like they're nice. Uh, a core worker of mine has them. They're they're pretty good. I've used them the odd time or two. Uh, heavy duty four inch angle cutoff tool and a heavy duty three inch cutoff tool. Also reciprocating aerosol with dual chuck mechanism. All very nice tools. Pricey side, yes, but they are nice to have. At the bottom of the page, we've got a power inverter, cordless memory saver. I guess those are kind of a necessity today working on modern vehicles. Some of them have the security system that'll lock the vehicle down if you disconnect the battery. So that, I don't know, $71.95 and there's no battery sold separately. Uh, Blue Point makes a makes one that's about thirty bucks, or you can go on Amazon or eBay and find them fairly inexpensive. Uh, four port USB device charger. Yeah, okay, whatever. Micro lithium USB power unit, multi bay charger. I'm not sure what Snap On's thinking. I mean, if you're gonna get a USB power unit, I don't think Snap On's gonna be on your first list of choices, but hey, why not? We got a 3 8 drive impact wrench. I actually have this impact in a half inch drive. It's probably a little underpowered for half inch, but 3 8 is probably a good one. They are uh, small and tight, so they are good for getting in restricted areas, like it says. I also have that half inch drill, and I really like it. It's quieter than uh, a normal air drill. And the reversibility of it is nice to have. And then they've got a 3 8 I'm sure it's nice too if you're in for a 3 8 or you need something a little smaller, quarter inch as well. Uh, the Air Hammer, $466.95. I don't know. I've never used one. I'm sure they're good. 3 8 Drive Super Duty Air Ratchet. Once again, I don't have Snap-on Air Ratchets, so I can't really say too much here other than, you know, other guys that I know have been happy with them. Uh, half inch drive impact wrench and three eighths drive impact wrench from Blue Point. Well, if you need to get a backup impact or something, it's probably not a bad choice. Here we've got a bunch of uh, air tools from Blue Point three eighths drive air ratchet, um, three eighths angle drill. Actually, that would probably come in pretty handy, and it's not a bad price $232. Mini die grinder angle. High speed reciprocating saw, orbital palm sander, uh, looks like an electric 
angle grinder, pinstripe removal tool. Actually, those work not too bad. Uh, four inch reversible cutoff tool. Uh, the long shaft is kind of nice, depending on what you're working on. Try and get access into things. Uh, four inch cutting wheels, 3150. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, three inch reversible cutoff tool, probably not a bad deal. Here we have some blue point tool carts. Depending on your application, could be a not bad deal. Uh, 494 95 yeah, it's okay. Some uh, socket organization trays, yeah, you can probably get them cheaper elsewhere. Uh, a service tray, those are nice to have. I would suggest looking somewhere else and spending 500 bucks on one. Uh, adjustable creeper. I actually have this creeper. I really like it. I like how the arms dip, or there's space that dips down for the arms. Uh, creeper seat, underhood service tray, handy to have, yeah. And a uh, blue point creeper. I'd say go for the snap on. Got a bunch of welding and plasma carts. Doesn't look like a, too bad of a deal. Welding workstation cart. Side cabinet, bunch of welding helmets. Some of them don't look too bad. Auto darkening is always nice. I don't do a ton of welding, I can't really say. It's always good to shop around though. Yeah, these next few pages, we've got a lot of welding equipment, auto body equipment. Once again, I'm not a welder, I'm not an auto body guy. I don't really have experience to say. Maybe some of you guys can help out in the comment section below, but if you wanna take a look, you can always pause it and and review these things. Here we got various gloves, safety glasses, uh, and the prices don't look too bad either. Got a couple of shop facts at the bottom, a blue point and a snap on. I would say just get a rigid or shop vac brand from your local department store. Save a lot of money. Does the same job. Butane gas torches. Those are definitely nice. I've used them, very handy. Good for a uh, shrink tube or soldering, even can heat up small bolts and stuff like that. Very nice to have. Here we've got some different lights, trouble lights, under hood lights, flood lights. Pause, take a look, see what you think. I've mentioned before in another video that my favorite flashlight is Streamlight so far. We've got an auto ranging digital multimeter, digital hybrid multimeter. I guess if you're working on hybrids, it'd be good. Uh, car scan diagnostic ABS, blue point. Uh, good to have in your toolbox if you're ever working on any automotive stuff. Interchangeable 12 volt dis digital display circuit tester kit. Yeah, no thanks. Got a tachometer. For the price, I'm sure you could look elsewhere and find a better price. Cooling system tester, same thing again. 12 volt circuit tester. I guess it's a good diagnostic tool to have, just quick in your box. I prefer using a power probe. Uh, classic style bulb circuit tester. Those are nice to have because they actually put a load on the circuit, unlike the LED ones. So depending on what you're testing, sometimes an electronic circuit behaves differently when there's load on it. Uh, cord free DC circuit tester 5755 advanced battery system tester for a thousand bucks to me batteries aren't that hard to diagnose either they've got a charge or they don't just load test the battery and if it passes the test then good if not replace the battery that way you'll avoid comebacks from customers and you'll be able to keep your equipment on the road tire pressure sensor System kit tool, 1875. You can test TPMS sensors. Uh, looks like it'll allow you to reprogram them too. Uh, nice to have if you're swapping out winter and summer tires all the time. Uh, also looks like some video inspection scopes. Fairly pricey, you can find better deals elsewhere. At the bottom of the page we have some blue point spray guns. Uh, abrasive blast cabinets, nice to have for cleaning parts. 
as well as you know auto body stuff. We have some two ton and three ton floor jacks. Look like they're nice, but for the price, no thank you. Uh, two ton airbag jack. I've heard they're nice. I've heard they're handy. I've never used them. We also have some jack stands and some other kind of jacks. Uh, scan tools. You know, I'm not an automotive guy. I've heard they're nice. I, you know, they got a lot of features with them. Maybe somebody in the automotive world can leave some comments in the section below and let us know what you think. This page we've got a lot of digital torque wrenches. They're really nice to have, especially if you're doing a lot of engine work. Uh, they'll do your torque turns, angles, and stuff like that. I, I think you can also do a rotational torque with them. I might be mistaken there. Uh, below that, we have the older style manual type torque wrenches. That's what I use. Uh, they're very nice. They seem to hold their accuracy over a long time. Uh, torque companion used to test a torque wrench. I guess it makes sure that you're in the ballpark. If you're doing stuff that requires a lot of accuracy with torquing, you should send your torque wrenches out to have them calibrated. Uh, down below, we've got those kind of turn style torque wrench with the knob on the side. I really like those. They, uh, they're easy to set a lot quicker than the other style. And the flex head is nice, although you can get the flex head on the older style as well. Three piece scraper set. Oh, they look like they're nice. $111. Uh, I guess it's okay. Uh, non marring pick set and non marring scraper sets. Good to have if you're doing a lot of dash work or interior work. Uh, general service socket set. Blue point. Eight pound dead blow hammer. And a five pound sledgehammer dead blow. Definitely nice to have. Uh, you can actually hit really hard with those, probably as hard as a regular steel har hammer, if not more. Just because of the shot inside. 27 piece quarter inch hex adapter, trim pad remover, windshield wiper arm removal tool. Uh, two of them, one looks like one snap on, one's blue point. Eight piece automotive door hinge removal removal set and a heel dolly. All these tools look like they're fairly decently priced and good to have in your toolbox. Here we got a gasket knife, pipe knife, uh, some ratcheting screwdrivers. I like them, I have them. Uh, kind of eliminate a lot of other tools in your box, save some space. Six piece combination instant grip soft grips uh, screwdriver set. Uh, a little bit pricey, but they're nice handle. Said before that uh, I'd recommend them. Hard handle nut driver set. Uh, nine piece SA nut driver set. Uh, electronic mi miniature screwdriver set. You know, all good things to have. Lots of automotive specialty tools on this page. Master ball joint, universal joint press set. Uh, looks like it'd be a fairly expensive set, but probably covers just about everything that you'd run across. Uh, master disconnect set, blue point. Uh, good to have if you got, you know, different lines you need to disconnect, stuff like that. Uh, stud remover and installer kit. These can make your life a lot easier than trying to double nut something to pull it out or what have you. Industrial hand rivet tool kit. Riveter's always good to have. 14 piece heavy duty end cap filter wrench set. I've always preferred using a filter wrench or strap, something like that. 203.35. Six piece line clamp and stopper set. Good kit to have, especially if you don't want to, if you're working on cooling system and you want to isolate something, don't have to drain the whole system out if it's just a heater core or something like that. On the right hand side of the page, different adapters for 
ball joints. Wide mouth adjustable wrenches. It's always good to have a couple good adjustable wrenches. T-handle ball hex wrench set. Depending on your work, what you're working on, these can be a lifesaver. Open end crow foot wrench sets. I don't know about you, but I don't really use these a whole lot. Um, but when you do need them, you need them. Whether it's worth spending, you know, 340 or 300 bucks for a set, I'd say take a look at what Tecton's got. Um, they'll probably suit your needs and save you a ton of money. On the side of the page, 12 point flank drive ratcheting box open end combination wrench sets. I do like snap on wrenches. Uh, as far as the ratcheting wrench goes, I don't have a lot of experience with them. I do have their flank drive plus combination wrenches and I really like them. They, the open end really bites in. I can take off things that you know other wrenches can and I've seen it first hand. On the last page, I have a lot of shop equipment for tires. I don't have a lot of experience with them. You know, I've done it before. I haven't compared many different types of machines to be able to tell you which one's better, which one's not. The prices on them, from what I've seen, look like they're competitive with other brands on the market. Maybe somebody who works in a tire shop can leave a comment below and just Tell us if you like their snap-on tire equipment or not, and why. Anyways, that does it for this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And we will see you in the next one.